It is wonderful to be here at Adelphi. Um, this is my first trip to the university, um, and it is really a wonderful and warm place. I, I believe wholeheartedly that you can learn so much about an institution just by being quiet and just watching people and watch how people treat each other and watch how people receive each other. Look into people's eyes and see what you see. And now maybe you all are faking it, right? But your eyes are warm. You seem genuinely happy to be here and you are engaged and encouraged. And I just think that's fantastic. So thank you for sharing. Now give yourself a hand. It's important as we get into this to understand that I think we don't have a choice but to start a movement. And we start, we start movements because people need you. We are living in a time where people need us. We can no longer pretend that things are anything other than what they are. We are a country in crisis in part because we as institutions haven't lived up to our promise. And when you fail to live up to your promise, the negative things come into play. And because we haven't embraced our full abilities, we have given people an opportunity to be something other than what we would have dreamed them to be. So we're going to talk about how to fix that this afternoon. These are our values. We believe in something called the four L's of Quinine leadership. Lead places better than you found them. Live a life that matters. <laughs> lead from wherever you are. And love something greater than yourself. That's our test every single day. Did we do those things? If we did do those things, then we had a great day. If we didn't do those things, then we have to commit ourselves to being better tomorrow. And then the last one is always interesting because we are a historically black college. But we tell people, you can be our kind without being our color, right? Because you'd be shocked how many people think that being a historically black college means you don't like white people. That's not it, right? They're historically black colleges, in fact, because white people didn't like black people. <laughs> right? Like, that's what happened, okay? They were created because there were nowhere, there was no place else for us to go to school. But it is a fallacy. Historically black colleges have always been places that were open and welcome to everyone, okay? And if you don't believe me, ask yourself this question. Who do you think the original faculties were? We couldn't read, we couldn't write. We always had to be places that depended on collaboration of people from different races. So why would we be any less than that today? Like all we care about is you subscribe to our values. If you subscribe to these values, you will always have a home. Number eight, be fearless. Learn how to speak truth to power. Right? Don't be afraid. Right? Don't be afraid. Let go of that fear. When you live in fear, your life diminishes. And be brave, be bold. It's exciting, it's way more fun. <laughs> know and understand great love. This is so important. We have to lead our lives with passion. But it's hard to have passion if you've never been passionate about anything or anyone. Now, if you are married and you're not passionate about your husband or your wife or your partner, you need to talk. <laughs> okay? You should have great love. I love my wife, I love my children. I spend my life every day grateful for being in their presence. I love my students, I love my staff, I love my school, right? I know great love, which allows me to be bold, to not be afraid, to take risks, right? You need that, right? And I want that for you. The students of Adelphi University deserve a great faculty. And chances are they probably have one. But none of us are as great as we are yearning to be. Go be that version of yourself. And if you ever want some company and helping you consult with your soundtrack, just call me. I'm happy to help. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. And good luck to you. Take care.